Look guys, cute little Rainbow High merch. We've got a coloring and activity book. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to a new episode of I finally found the hookup for my microphone so I can start filming again. Sorry it's taken me so long. But yeah, I couldn't find like the little iPhone pluggy thing that you uh, converts like a headphone jack so you can actually plug it into your iPhone because Apple's a bunch of dicks. And that's how my microphone works. And then I can pick up my audio and it's not all scratchy and weird and stuff like when I would do it with my headphones. Um, that's what's been going on. I started school, so I've just been really busy. So for anybody new here, I am a 30 year old architecture student who should be working on his pavilion design right now, but instead is filming a reaction to style video about a kid show on YouTube. We are doing Season two, episode four of Rainbow High is a show that exists. Episode four of season two is titled The Rainbow High Crest Quest, The Continents Emoji, Unicorn Emoji, Castle Emoji. Season two, episode four, Rainbow High. Yeah, let's just get right into the episode, guys. Okay, so first we open up to Crystal Bailey's like newsroom, I guess is what you would call it. And Karma and Violet are both contributors to The Scene. Is that, is that the name of her periodical? Violet and Karma are exchanging looks, but they're very friendly and everything. Cause I know there was like a theory that Karma and Violet were gonna have like a falling out and like have drama and stuff, but they seem to be more friendly towards each other. And now Crystal is about to assign some articles for the girls to work on. Karma, I want you to interview Jet Dawson about her textile internship. Yes, I just know Jet and I are gonna vibe. And I will get all the deets about whether she's really dating that British pop star. Mm-hmm. And Violet, you're going to cover the history of the Rainbow High Crest. Cool. And the crest is what? Where did the crest come from? What does it stand for? So more like history? Yay. I know you can make it exciting. Karma gets assigned this awesome interview with Jet Dawson. Violet is assigned the historical piece. But the thing is, um, history can be fun and entertaining or you can learn about history and find out that it's incredibly whitewashed and um, systematically suppressive. But this is Rainbow High, so probably not, right? So Violet notices Miss Wright in class has the crest pinned onto her clothing and Violet goes up to Miss Wright to ask her how she got the pin and everything and then Miss Wright starts going into these cryptic clues because it is not just given, it is earned. It's best if you seek the answers for yourself. Might I recommend a visit to the Rainbow High Archive? We have an archive? That sounds old and I need old. Where is it? It is said that it hides in plain sight, but only those who seek it will ever see the light. Details that are more detail-y or like a map. <laughs> Every Rainbow High student has the map that tells you where to start, but being ready for the journey is the most important part. Sunny and Violet are discussing the kind of crypticness of Miss Wright's clues and everything, and then they're trying to figure out where they've seen a map for Rainbow High. And they remember that it's in the student handbook and start going through that. Sunny and Violet decide to do this together as friends and go on their fun little quest as besties. And I love it because Sunny's wearing that outfit of hers that I want a fashion pack of so bad because it's so freaking cute with the little scaly gold fish dress and then the like puffy jacket. I just love it. it. Has nothing to do with the story really. It's just one of my favorite outfits. So Sunny and Violet go to the giant horse statue that's in the middle of the school and they run into Daphne, the 
really pretty like seafoam greeny minty girl and we get to learn a lot about her so let's find out Teddy, what are you doing there's always more than meets the eye oh i have always wanted to hang from there like that daphne hey you know a lot about gems and stuff right i mean i do host a podcast about semi-precious stones called let's rock what do you know about the unicorn statue not much to know but Look what happens when light hits the angles just right! A rainbow effect! It's so magical! Just like the drawing on the map! You are a lifesaver! I love that you're so into it! Let me know if you need anything else. Or if you ever want to chat about how underrated turquoise is! And so we just get to learn that Daphne is a big old freaking sweetheart compared to our icy bitch Gabriella, but I like both of them because it's good to have contrasting personalities in a show. I don't want everybody to be super nicey-nice to each other all the time. I want a mean bitch. And Gabby brings that. So Violet and Sunny find out that if light hits the horse statue right, rainbow prisms kind of shoot out. And luckily at high noon, when the sun hits it, it'll show them where to go next which is room 84. They go into the room and they find the crest on a closet door. And it turns out that all that is behind there is a blow dryer. And somehow Sunny magically remembers this from their childhood, which is very convenient. But you know, whatever, it's a show. Maybe a secret room or a secret passage or a secret hair dryer. It's like when we were little and I would send you secret messages drawn in invisible ink! Eat reactive invisible ink! Yes! All that was on the paper this whole time. It looks like there's a secret room! I've always dreamed of finding a secret room! Literally! I have a recurring dream about it! We go to look for the secret room that was revealed by the invisible ink that got heated up. And we kind of go through like this little montage and everything of them going throughout the campus. <laughs> Violet and Sunny are having a hard time finding the secret room. And then they realize that it's probably behind a locker. They figure out this little riddle. of numbers. Wait, the riddle. Every color starts with the primaries. Red, blue, yellow. You can go first. Maybe we go together? Once inside, Sunny and Violet are greeted by Miss Wright, and she congratulates them for being the first in their class to discover the Rainbow High archives. It's a baby crest! It's a pin! Just like Miss Wright was wearing! That's right. <gasps> Congratulations, girls. You're the first of your class to find your way to the Rainbow High Archive. Opens. Glam is inside the Rainbow High Crest? What does that even mean? We're at the archives, aren't we? Let's find out! And once Sunny and Violet are awarded their little tiny crests, um, we go into this reading of Violet's article voiced over some different like cutscenes and everything that kind of explains like the whole point of this episode. Historically, the outside of the crest represents the craft of every Rainbow High student. But at Rainbow High, there's always more than meets the eye. Everyone here makes beautiful and unique art that is seen on the outside. But to be chosen to represent the Rainbow High Crest, you must also embody glam virtues on the inside. There is a prize at the end of the Rainbow High Archives. But where are the archives? What is the prize? Here's your start. Find the map that every student has. And then inside of a lot of those cutscenes, there are a lot of little like hints and clues and everything. Like on the front cover of the scene, 
There is a picture of one of the new Rainbow High Rockstar dolls, Lyric Lucas. Yeah, I think that's her name, Lyric Lucas. Just a lot of like callbacks to like older outfits, some of the runway looks, everything like that. Just cute little like tidbits here and there, which you guys can watch in the original if you want to rewatch it or whatever. Okay guys, and that is season two, episode four of Rainbow High is a show that exists. We learned some cute stuff, not as much like history and lore behind Rainbow High as I would like to have learned. Um, I would have liked some callbacks to like when Miss Wright was a student there or just stuff like that, you know, like, like how Monster High did that thing where they went back in time and went to like the school way before they went to the school kind of a thing, you know, just something cute like that. That would have been fun, but there were fun little Easter eggs and like merch being hinted at and stuff like that. So that was fun. Um, let me know what you guys noticed in this episode, what you missed. Once again, uh, sorry it got out so late, but my microphone is finally working again. Thank you so much, and I will see you in another two weeks when we get another episode of Rainbow High is a show that exists. Except now it's more like a week. Girl, these look scary as fuck. Okay, yeah, these girls look a lot better when they're, um, Colored in, not when they are blank. <laughs>